I got a call about 11 a.m. and uh, the call said it was the agent, the buyer's agent, um, and she said that, hey, um, I think the the property was broken into, and I was like, okay, you think it was broken into? And she was like, yeah, the. She was like, okay, no, wait, it was broken into. The the door, you know, is beat down, and I was like, oh, okay. Uh. Hey, my name's Kevin. And I've been in real estate for over 10 years. I'm a real estate broker, investor, and flipper. I also own my own real estate company. And I give you the real deal on real estate. Not that fake stuff you see on TV. From the latest news in real estate to one of my recent projects of renovations. You'll see it all here on this channel from someone who's on the front lines keeping you up to date on all things real estate. All right, guys, how you guys doing? Uh, let me turn this music off real quick so I don't get no copyright infringement. Uh, hope everyone is doing great. Um, uh, uh, Happy New Year. I know I haven't put out a video out in a while, but you know I figured today would be a great day to, to put a video out because uh, in one of our properties, I think we got a break in, or we kind of do, or kind of don't. Uh, We'll find out today so um yeah usually i do you know more you know keep you up to date on real estate i do videos you know just kind of standing in front like you know in my office standing in front of the camera and just you know keeping up to date on real estate today i figured you know what i mean like you know new year new me right so i figured we might do more of a vlog style type of video give you more in depth of what i do uh you know as a real estate investor as a real real estate agent um uh, someone who owns a property management company you know just does all things real estate you know i figured I'd, I'd show you the ups and downs of real estate and kind of do do it in a vlog style so today i figured of all days why not start off with this so um i'll just give you guys a little bit of a background um there's a property that's a flip property um and we have it listed um and then we got it under contract and today was the inspection day uh, for the property so um, you know we were doing the inspection and I got a call about 11 a.m. and uh, the call said it was the agent the buyer's agent um, and she said that hey um, I think the the property was broken into and I was like okay you think it was broken into and she was like yeah the she was like okay no wait it was broken into the the door you know is beat down and I was like oh okay um you know i was like do you you know do you want to finish your inspection is it something that we gotta you know come in me because i was far away from the property at the time um so um they completed their inspection and so now i'm gonna go to the property now and i'm gonna take you guys with me and we're gonna see you know what's what's up with the property and what do we do from here how do we proceed from here and we'll i'll give you you know details of how i you know as real estate investors and as entrepreneurs there's no real rule book to follow there's no you know you just kind of have to wing it and things come up and you know most importantly i think i, I read this somewhere that like so like being an entrepreneur being a house flipper you know you have to go by you have to be a problem solver and so problems like this come up and you got to learn how to solve them so um, i'm gonna take you guys with me and you know let's see how bad the damage is all right so we're at the property and it's not that bad but let me just show you real quick okay so this is the damage let me show you from the outside and then show you from the inside so from the outside and uh, it looks fine literally look, it looks like nothing happened but apparently I'm assuming somebody just drop kicked this door in and broke that this kind of broke out and that's how they got in and then if you turn around well, let's leave this open so we can see this but if you turn around you see all this is broken and this piece completely just ripped off the door which basically kept the lock in that completely broke off so but there's a good thing the good thing is that the door surprisingly still locks so that is good so i don't have to call the handyman right out to secure the property because the door still is locked but obviously we have to fix this but um 
uh, with this, what, I, what one thing I learned or what I think I'm happening is that, so this property was for sale. I haven't seen this property for a while, but this property was listed and for sale and there was a bunch of real estate agents coming in and out. Oh, I just saw that right now. Obviously when the door flung open, it uh, caused that damage too. Yep. Um, so yeah, apparently the property was listed, went under contract and I think some of the agents just locked the bottom of this. You see how that's locked? Um, Cause if the deadbolt was locked in, it's hard to kick it because it's, it's got one piece right here and it's got another piece right here. So it's, it's, it's double, you know, secured. Uh, because it wasn't, it was very easy to just kick this door in and basically this piece right here just got bashed out. Um, that's why, but it's a blessing because that's why we can still secure the door, lock the door. So that's what the damage was. And this one, and I mind you, this isn't the primary house. This is the apartment that's in the back, which kind of gave somebody more reservation to uh, kick the door in because it was in the back of the main house. Uh, this was kind of like a garage that was converted into a, uh, an apartment. Um, one thing I do want to notice is nothing was stolen in the house, which is a blessing. Nothing was stolen, nothing was damaged. This was the only, only damage was the break-in. Um, one thing I did notice is, so this is the, this is the garage um, that was converted into an apartment and then the primary house is out there. One thing I did notice was um, in, the, in the primary house, I have a heat set to about 71, I believe. And so it's on auto, so it, it's, it's warm in the house when people step in the house. But it's very cold out here because we have these electric heaters. Um, and I really don't know how to work them. Like they turn, they turn on, but my, I have a fear that if I leave them on, they won't ever turn off. So I really don't know how to function them, so I keep them off in both bedrooms. And so when I came to the property, um, today um, one thing I noticed was obviously there was no damage the only damage was the break-in so somebody broke in here and did not take anything so we have you know a kitchen you know stove everything we got the dishwashers um, over here you know stainless steel appliances nothing was taken obviously the house is empty but I guess they could have taken you know damaged the property spray painted the property done a lot of bad um, but no, none of that was done. Um, let me flip over. So, um, yeah, none of that was done. So I, in the past, I've had probably one of my main fears was, but I didn't think that would happen because I talked with the agent, the buyer's agent when they were doing the inspection. Um, uh, one of the things we've had in the past is we've had a flip property. This was years ago. We had a flip property. Someone broke in and spray painted everything. The house was 80%, 80 to 90% done. Um, we just had to like install appliances and whatnot. And there was actually brand new appliances from Home Depot sitting in there. They didn't take any of the appliances. They just went in, spray painted the floors. We had just installed, spray painted the countertops, the marble uh, countertops, spray painted. It was probably fifteen to $20,000 worth of damage. Um, so count your blessings as into nothing happened here. All the damage is the door, which is a couple hundred dollars. Uh, but one thing I do want to point out is, which I was referring back to the heater, was this heater was turned on. And I've turned both rooms heaters off because I don't know how they, how they work under the automatic. So if I turn them on, I don't want them to just stay here on for 24 hours because I don't come to this property that often. So this heater was on. So my opinion is that somebody it's very it's winter time here in the Seattle area. Um, it's very cold. It's very windy. Uh, it's very cold. It's very windy. Um, so I'm just assuming that somebody broke in here and needed a place to stay for the night. Turned on the heater and because uh, I, I never turn on that heater unless the agent turned it on. Um, it was only for this bedroom right here. So. Um, I'm assuming, you know, it's, it's a blessing and, you know, it sucks that, you know, I mean, so let me, let me just go through what's going through my mind. My mind is, um, 
I hope the buyer still is interested. They continue with the inspection. We'll see if they're still interested. Um, we'll go through that once the deal closes. I'll give you guys updates on that. But it seems like they're still interested. It still is the inspection and whatnot. Um, uh, hopefully the neighborhood, this isn't a terrible neighborhood. This isn't the best neighborhood, but it's not a terrible neighborhood. So for something like this to happen, another reason I think it happened is because of the, there's a primary residence in the front. And then this is like the garage that's in the back kind of hidden away. So I'm assuming that someone probably thought it was the perfect opportunity to, hey, no one will see me break in, break in here. They came in and I think they just literally just spent the night. They didn't steal anything. They didn't break anything in, inside the house. They could have spray painted, caused damage, broke windows, nothing. All that's turned on is that heater right there. So um, what I'm thinking is that someone probably just needed a place to stay for the night. So, um, you know, it sucks that, 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 that this happened. It sucks that we're probably going to have to do maybe a couple hundred dollars worth of repair. Um, but, you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, if, if somebody got shelter at our expense, then so be it. You know, it is what it is. They could have done a lot worse. So um, I'm happy that this was all that the damage was done. For doing this type of work, um, being an investor, um, Pete, I know there's a lot of people that maybe watch my channel that you know wanting to learn more about real estate, want to learn about the market, um, uh, want to learn about like what's really involved. Because I know that these like real estate shows that you know it's like we bought the house for 200 we put twenty thousand dollars worth of work into it and then they see them like maybe painting a wall for like 30 seconds and then the contractors do the rest of the work and then they they, they don't show the hidden fees they don't see the hood the, the the real problems that come up in in trying to sell the house um and so things like this come up so i just want to say that if you go, want to go into this flip flipping business that you really have to be a problem solver and things problems like this come up and you can't I, I know there's one of two ways you could freak out when something like this happens and completely go into panic mode or just know that you know it's part of the job this is this this, this happens um, um, houses get broken into um, there's permitting issues there's you know there's there's problems with buyers problems with sellers there's someone will cause fifteen thousand dollars worth of damage to something you just fixed there'll be issues with neighbors there'll be There'll be problems everywhere. Um, so you really just have to be, keep your calm, be, you know, to, to count your blessings. Um, this was, uh, in my opinion, it sucked, but it was a blessing. And it was a blessing in the sense that no other damage was done. It's a couple hundred dollars worth a door frame. Fix that and continue on with the deal. I mean, it could have been a lot, lot worse. Someone could have came in here, spray painted everything. And, you know, the flooring, you know, the, the walls, broken windows you know what i mean you would have to change out all the windows they could have caused a lot a lot of damage and nothing it just seemed like somebody needed a space to stay for the night um so you know if they, if they, if they do that on our expense it is what it is you know so yeah um i don't know what else to say uh right now uh, we're just figuring out uh do we file a police report do we just fix it contacting the buyer see if he's still interested all of that is kind of going into shape right now, but um, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. So yeah, that, uh, if there's any update on the property, I'll let you guys know and um, we'll take it from here. And please um, leave in the comments below what you would do. Uh, leave in the comments below about what you thought. Um, you know, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, anything real estate related, uh, let me know and uh, um, and also let me know if you like this vlog style. I don't I mean this is I don't know a two or three minute video I'm just talking about the situation. Um, I don't know if you guys like this type of material. Let me know if you do um, and I'll make more of it. All right. Thanks guys. Bye